Hey everybody, welcome to my channel where I review 3D modeling programs as well as other 3D tech. So, a lot of people have been asking, how do you get Fusion 360 and why is it so expensive? Um, today I wanted to cover those questions and how to actually get the free versions. There's three different free versions and then the paid version. Now I'm going to be covering the differences and why you may want or be able to get one or the other. So we'll just jump on right over to their website. Uh, first one I'm going to cover is actually their startup or entrepreneur license, which is what I currently have. Um, you can have this license for up to three years. It's a year uh, license that updates every year if you still meet their qualifications, which means your company has to be with under three years old and you have to have 10 or fewer employees. One other qualification is you have to make less than 100,000 USD for gross annual income, so a revenue, sorry. So you can tell a lot about how I'm doing right now. Uh, definitely less than that. Um, with it, it, again, it is a one-year license. It does have all of the features built in, which is really, really nice. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's really straightforward. They'll ask you different questions about your company, what it does, um, and if you qualify, great. They'll send you the, license, the link and you can upload that. Next version. I would suggest getting this version if you can, if you can qualify. It's the educational version. Also, full version. It's a one-year free educational access. Um, I don't know what their, their qualifications are for students. I'm, um, it, it used to be different since I've been in school. They've changed these things. All three of these options used to be one option. And so I can't say specifically what the in-depth um, requirements are, but try. Um, try seeing, fill out their, their questionnaire. And if you're eligible, awesome. You have it for a year. Um, if you don't, you are still able to get the personal hobby use. And the nice thing about this page is it shows side by side of the full version, which is the, in this case the paid one, as well as the hobby version and what the differences are. There are some pretty key differences, um, but being that it's free, you can still do quite a bit with the free version. So first off, there's still a lot of CAM functions that you can do. So you have two and three axis milling, you have adaptive clearing, turning, 3D printing, water jet laser cutting, and plasma cutting, and being able to make things set for those machines. That's that's a lot. That That's a lot. I actually really don't know past that what I would be personally using. Um, my biggest complaint and the biggest like restriction is how many files you can actively work on. You can only have 10 active files that you can edit. Um, I'm not sure if there's a workaround, like if you can save a, a th um, an F3D file, which is a Fusion file, onto your computer um, and then bring it back in. That's something definitely to test out if you end up do getting the hobby version. Um, but that's my biggest hang up on it is that that's pretty limiting. But if you're learning the program, it's free and you can do a lot with what they do have to offer. Uh, they do have electronics and PCB design. I've personally never worked in this area, so I can't really make a comment of how limiting or how generous this, this is. Um, two dimensional documentations and drawings. It says you can only have single sheet support and printing only. I don't think that's terrible. It's, again, if you're just learning, uh, I've never used multi-sheet for my projects, and unless you're having someone manufacture something for you, it's it's really quite doable. Um, form support. Typically, I only use form support. I've never ever called Fusion 360. Um, and use YouTube videos like this and different forms that people talk on. Local rendering. This is actually a really interesting one. I'm surprised and I'm really pleased to see that they still have the rendering attached. Um, I'm quite impressed with the rendering abilities but um, and in all reality it's not much different than the other other than you don't can't use cloud rendering but that requires as you see cloud credits and you have to pay for credits I think you get a certain amount of free credits but um, so the only issue with that is if you're going to be rendering on a laptop you may have some issues with it with your processor being able to take that um, but you might not uh, laptops are getting better and better so File exports. Um, really, there's only one file type that I was kind of bummed that they didn't have. But again, they have the F3D, um, they have an OBJ, um, step file, STP, and an STL. Those are all very, very useful files. You can do a lot with that, just that. I wish they did have DXF. I like using DXF files a lot. That's my personal preference of like transferring a sketch model to a, a sketch file to another program for, let's say, laser cutting. Um, they say that you can still laser cut, so there, there's probably other file formats that'll work. Um, but yeah, and that's it. And it'll import pretty much all the standard 3D modeling files. So um, 
not a bad version. If you want a free version, this is a great one if you don't qualify for the other two. Briefly, going over the paid version, <clears throat> it is a $500 subscription, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm not a big fan of subscriptions, but if this is something that's going to be paying uh, paying off, then that, that's great. Um, it is cheaper than, let's say, SolidWorks, which is $4,000. However, SolidWorks is a one-time payment. And I'll do a little bit more of the comparison videos of that at some point. You are able to do a lot more CAM functionalities. Um, you can have multiple users actually access the files, which is really nice. A lot more with the electronics and PCB design. Two-dimensional, multi-sheet, three-file export, company templates. Um, again, if you're doing professional stuff, it's needed, but if not, not really needed. Uh, and then a lot more phone support. One of the cool things you can do is you can have generative design technologies. Really, really cool tech. I hope to do a video on it one day. Um, but it does require cloud credits and they are pretty pricey from the last time I checked. So um, in a nutshell though, that is how you can get Fusion 360. I hope this video was really useful. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate the support. Add some comments. I've really enjoyed answering people's comments and I hope you guys all have a wonderful new year and have a great time 3D modeling and learning with me with Fusion 360. So I'll see you guys next time.